and what was that this morning, especially still as a Stoke player? Yeah, it's great to have him back. Uh, he's a great lad and he's he's a big part of the Stoke team in the dressing room, so yeah, I'm glad he's still a Stoke player anyway. Yeah, I was sending him a few text messages just to see how he was how he was getting on, but obviously uh, Stoke they couldn't see eye to eye with, uh, with any other clubs in order to get someone in and replace him. So looks like John's a Stoke player for the rest of the year. He seems fine, you know. He seems fine. I think he was just look, trying to look out for his own future, you know. He's getting getting on a bit now, and I think he was just trying to uh, secure his own future for his family. And so I don't see anything wrong with that. But he's a smashing guy to have around the place, you know, in the dressing room, on the pitch. You know what you're going to get with him, 100%. With his attitude, determination, and he scores goals. So great guy to have around. Definitely. Definitely, he's a big part of the Irish dressing room as well, you know, great character. All the things I said before, you know, I could say them a million times, that's John Walters in a nutshell. It's a great guy to have in the camp. How about yourself, though? You only to be gradually working your way back into that state, too? Yeah, yeah, just gradually, yeah. I've uh, got an injury in pre-season, I uh, had the ligaments in my right ankle. And uh, We'd already came back a week later, obviously, because we had the, the internationals in the summer, so we had the extra week off. So I've been playing a bit, bit of catch up, obviously, from them. We've, we had a friendly against Wrexham. That's when I got injured, and I've been playing catch up pretty much since then. You know, played my first uh, 130 minutes in the cup the other week uh, against Luton. We drew 1-1, one, one, went the pens. Luckily enough, we were through to the next round anyway. I feel, I feel all right, you know. I feel all right. Uh, we've got these heart rate monitor things on every day anyway, so it's saying I'm alive and I'm doing all right. So. <laughs> What's the market's approach to uh, these two games? Obviously, there's are two pretty crucial games to get to Ireland and have back in time. Yeah, they're massive games, you know. I don't think we can we can take the foot off anything, you know. We've, we know ourselves we've got to get six points out of these next two games and nothing else will do. So the attitude, I think, from the start of the week is if we're going to get six points, that's we have to. There's no no other answer to it. We've got to get six points. I'm sure I'm sure some people might be before the game, you know. But us as players, I think we got to concentrate on, on the games. Uh, first of all, the uh, Gibraltar game, and then obviously, hopefully, we get a positive result in that, and then the, the Georgia game to concentrate on. You weren't really tested too much in the previous game against Gibraltar. At the back mark, do you expect them to get more of a workout this time? Yeah, well, this week we've been watching them. We just watched them against uh, Germany. There, they created a few chances against the Germans. It could have took them took them by surprise, you know. But I think uh, as a half went on in the next half, sorry, the Germans were a bit too strong for them physically. You know, they seemed to tire a bit. And but at the end of the day, it's down to ourselves, you know. We've got to go out there and put in 100% performance, committed performance, and and take three points. It's going to be pretty hot over there, Mark, considering your own pre-season situation. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you feel the okay for 90 No, yeah, I, I think personally I'll be fine. Trained out in Singapore, start of the year, and that, if you can train in that humidity, you can train anywhere. So, yeah. How difficult is it, Mark, going to the game being such a massive favourite? It's quite an unusual situation, isn't it? Uh, listen, it's, it's not always a good thing, you know. Sometimes the underdogs is better to be the underdog sometimes but uh, we'll take nothing for granted we know what we what we got to do and let's go out and put in a good performance and take three points <laughs>